in the Philippines, but it's a great country to live in, which is going to bring us to our pros. And I know this is kind of going on here, and I've been sitting here munching my food. I've eaten everything, and George hasn't. Um, we're going to talk about the first pro, which is the people. Nicest people in the world. If you ask them if they're walking down the street and they had a bottle of soda unopened, they're going to give you that bottle of soda if you ask. People are very, very nice here. Now there. remember, that's the, the two-edged sword. Um, Filipinos are, we're very open, and we're very open to sharing. Mm -hmm. But remember, that's a two-edged sword, meaning since we're open to sharing, you're technically somewhat open to sharing. Share with them. This is a family community, like 1980. So don't, we're, yeah. we're, we're definitely, and I'm not used to that. I haven't seen hospitality. But basically, everybody is family. It's like living in the 80s and 70s right. again. Right, so somebody reaching over the plates is normal. And um, you're just not used to people that are so open, so mm -hmm. friendly. But once you do, you are semi-responsible, like if they need help or if... And that includes this. They'll walk up and use your fork and not even think about no, we, it. Normally we don't. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, no. It's kind of like the Middle East and some countries. You'll just see people, Using you know, grabbing rice. And um, We went to the celebration on New Year's, and they'll just have bamboo stuff down, or they're all sharing yeah. the same plate. So it's like that in a lot of Asian countries, Middle Eastern. I've seen it in India. Mm -hmm. And so it's customs that you're not used to there's a lot of things you're going to see and you're going to be like uh, yeah. it depends know. on where you're at and who you're with and and I've, I've told Heidi I mean I'm pretty sure none of my family members have experienced this I've gone into a restaurant and literally the restaurant that's what it is it's the food's all on the table and everybody just eats out of the same Food and, and that's rice hard for and me because yeah I get kind of so, those who are or what but I'm just giving them the extreme phobias. like we're talking about like a restaurant where you pay and you don't even get your own plate you just sit there and start eating yeah and I have experiences or they put it personally. in a bag when you walk yeah. on the street and the vendors they put oh, your that's, food in a flat yeah normal, yeah but people are used to in the Western standards not used yeah. to they'll take the bowl they dump it in a plate or if you eat. They use the same bowl, not dirty. They put a plastic bag over it, and when you're done eating, they take it off and they sit it back in the and same if you pile. Drink, well, this is tea. They and all if you drink, drink. It's very common for a filling to drink, like say, or vodka, whiskey, whatever, and hand it over to you. And then it is rude if you refuse it. Uh, so just just keep in mind that you have to learn. Adhere to the customs. Well, that's up to you where you stop it. You know I mean? Yeah, you do. And actually you do because sometimes they're so nice you don't want to hurt their feelings. Correct. George still runs into that. I run into it that you don't want to I don't mind hurting George's feelings. They're so. they're very you know, we're very, we're very very kind people and we will offer whatever is in the house to anybody. We have at the holiday everybody that um we even did it for our mm -hmm. Um, delivery we get the same delivery right. guy we gave him a, a big care package for Christmas our laundry people that we love um, some neighborhood kids on on um, New Year's we gave all the candy that we had shipped from the US and I think we gave almost everything out during the and the kids will show up on holidays so yeah. kids will go through the neighborhood like the 80s and like we used to we used to go knock on the neighbor's door and say you have any cookies? Do you yeah, have any it's, candy? It's like that. Like they do the same we, thing. We have here. kids who come over and ask for candy. Ask for and stuff candy like. and ice cream. Now, it, so yeah, we, it's we, just normal. We um, keep it. They're really cool. But kids. whatever you guys do, if you guys are at a gathering, always say your goodbyes. Don't just disappear. Mm. Don't slink off. That's extremely rude. There's a very big chance they'll never talk to you again. I made that mistake once. Oh boy. I'll never forget it. <laughs> Next we have on here, we're going to go into cheap rent and cheap transportation is a very good pro. Uh, the U.S., if you take a grab to the distance we are, you're looking at about $15. If we do it here, it's $2 for a grab. The drivers are usually pretty nice, but you have to watch them. And if you take cabs, you have to watch them because a lot of the cabs, if you don't have a credit card pre-set up on it, they could charge your own prices the same as the And when you name. when you get a grab or a cab, try not to use credit. It's better to pay cash. Yeah, they offer. We had our credit card on there at first. If your credit card is on there or it's a short distance, they would not come and get us. So when we start paying cash, they start accepting the rides everywhere. For the so. most part, um, transportation here, all the drivers, tricycle drivers, grab drivers, 
they literally live day, day by day, so they can't really wait for that credit card transaction. For payout like we did, like for, like for yeah. Uber, like when the drivers were getting paid, they were waiting for their pay. Um, so the trike drivers, which are all over the place, there is a standard way of doing it. You usually have to take the next trike driver that's available, and usually you have to bargain with them. So. Pay attention to how much it is. Again, better that a Filipino comes with you than by yourself. Get used to a price. There's not always a standard price. Some of them have their own rates. They have their own rates, but you, you shop around for a tricycle driver. Don't just, you know, what I mean is always talk to them because um, like the one at SM, they charge a little more than the guys here. They do. So in cheap rent, the deal is, is rent was cheaper in Mexico. We're not going to lie about that. I thought rent would be cheaper here. Is it cheaper than the U.S.? Heck yeah. So you're looking between three and eight hundred. If you want to be super comfortable, you're going to pay eight hundred U.S. But it's better that everything will be double and triple in the U.S. So the standard we're living in now, this is probably about a seven hundred dollar. It's probably more than that. If we, we can get this, the same size. This one right here. For cheaper, but we wanted the garage. Mm -hmm. And this standard two bedroom, one bath, we have a second kitchen. With, that could actually be a third. And a bigger a kitchen. So really that can be converted into a third bedroom. There's no doubt. It's narrow, but it's definitely a third right. bedroom for a standard family that comes into here. So a three bedroom place could be 2500 US. We're paying, I believe, look for our video and I'll put the... With the garage. With a garage that's enclosed, which can be turned into a store. We have gated um, area where nobody can get in, and then we have bars on our windows. Well, Do you technically, really need it can them? be converted into another room. Some people would actually no, turn. No, you can. It's you just get plywood. No, somebody they, yeah, they do believe me. Family members do. They actually yeah. live out in those areas. We could open a business here with the proper permits. That's what people have done in this actual location. Right. So check out our video for that. So right. it's um. Yeah. Next up that we have on here is we'll cover that is health care and dental. The health care and dental, check out our other videos. Dental will be fairly inexpensive. I'm not gonna go into it. I just know depending on depending if you want Western style dental. You want your teeth whitened, it'll be about half the price. If you want braces, we're talking about half the price. If you have a tooth extracted, x-rays and basics, we don't have the price right now. It's going to be inexpensive. We've already checked into some of that. Medical. A doctor's visit will be inexpensive. They even have online medical where they're doing video calls and everything. They offer months, three months of it free. Yeah, we, we actually got a free one, but we never took advantage of it. I think we, we forgot still about have, it expired. I think if we go back into Globe is who we use, they'll re-offer it again. So... The, the situation on that is, is that medical, the basics are cheap. The medicine, not as much. Some of the pills, depending on the pills, are exact price. And then the actual heart medications, they sell antibiotics over the counter. Some of these are inexpensive, but they sell one pill at a time. They could be one or two U.S. dollars for just an Advil and etc. Mm -hmm. So I suggested a Billy Buying Box, you ship a bunch of things that could be expensive here such as heartburn stomach diarrhea acetaminophen excedrin things that you're going to use because if not if you buy one bottle of excedrin or tylenol you're talking about three four times the price of the u.s so that's just what you're going to pay to get the american item but they do have it right now they're out of a lot of it because and, yeah. of the, what's going on and for the most part you don't need a prescription mostly so when you go to the doctors, they're really easy to get along with. They'll get the prescriptions that you need. But if you go into major medical here, again, which is another discussion, you could pay upwards to thousands of U.S. and you have to pay the bill. You have to pay your bill when you go to that hospital. You can't, they're not going to send you one like the U.S. They're not going to treat you until you prepay. So we're going to find out more about that for you guys. Uh, his, George's brother is a doctor. He has more information. We're going to contact a few I know that there are hospitals, but that's another thing about being in the province or being here. If you have a heart attack, if you have a stroke, if you have diabetes issues, and all of a sudden you need a doctor, you're going to wait hours anyways at the hospital, but you're going to have to transport through a boat, a, a cab, a, a trike, all the above just to get to the hospital. 
and then you could be waiting outside and definitely during this so those situations become a lot harder so if you have serious serious medical issues before you're leaving i wouldn't even think about it i wouldn't even it's it's a matter of but i believe they have what's called a public hospital but you could be sharing a room with eight nine people what it looked like back in the war days or something it's not it's not as easy it's not as pretty the doctors are qualified and talented here without a doubt but the quality of care could actually could not be what you're used to at western standard so you could still have your medical like me and george are still covered medically in the u.s um, you could just take a round trip, leave. This happens to a lot of expats. They'll leave their wives here or husbands. They'll go and take their heart surgeries, uh, hernia surgeries. They're gone for three, four months. We had a recent YouTuber that left to California and he came back and thank God he's okay. Uh, which by the way, we send all of our hellos and blessings out to YouTubers that have been helping during the typhoon. Big shout out to Finn Snow check out his channel big shout out to critter hunter this guy is awesome he rocks him and his i believe he's married to her is that his girlfriend or wife do we know i think it's but his wife yeah. great guy um him and his missus have been actually doing a great awesome job helping during this typhoon and then we send our prayers out to eight miles from home which is a great awesome channel that is on is it Shri Gao is how you say that sure go, yeah. now they might have left some of their videos are behind we haven't watched the last two or three so we believe they've officially moved to a different area for the safety of their child it was really really bad there take a look at some of those videos and also a big shout out to Rizzuto family vlog we we love them guys and we're thankful that him and his family are safe my man so, my man <laughs> He's done a really good job. So medical and issues that happen in the Philippines are going to happen all the time. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen here. But I will tell you this as an American female expat, and I think George will agree, George has returned to the Philippines. We have done so because we love this country. I can't <coughs> even tell you, but basically it's become so uncomfortably expensive and issues going on. Even their weather has become unstable that we have moved here for full retirement and to do our YouTubing full time. So we love this country and we know you guys will too. Be sure to email us at philippineantics at gmail.com. We will answer all questions. Hey, if you guys want to give us a call, we'll answer questions too and let you know, like boots on the ground, ask the questions. If you want to call us through What's Up app, all that, then that would be fine with us actually too. So we will talk to you guys. We don't have a problem with this. Uh, George, anything to close on? I know I've been no. running on, so do you love this country? Of course. So as we always say, keep your heads up and your hearts open, and we will see you guys soon on and in the Philippines. George is going to eat. I've already stuffed my face. George, give me a shot, a thumbnail. Ready? Do our thumbnail thing. Let's go be our thumbnail. Ready? I know we look crazy. Thumbnail. Bye. Oh man, my butt's my butt's sore. Baby. Uh.